This week, all eyes are on Tuesday night, the first debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump airs Tuesday night at 9 p.m. What are you looking out for? I'm sort of trying to think about what each candidate should do and should avoid doing. And I think there's a, a kind of obvious list for both candidates. They begin with uh, Trump needing to stay disciplined, focus on policy, particularly immigration, crime, um, lower real incomes, inflation, those kinds of issues, uh, and avoid uh, rambling and avoid personal attacks. Um, in Kamala Harris's case, I think she's going to need fundamentally to show that she's capable of being the country, the leader of the free world and the leader of the country. She's been in a number two position uh, and um, she really needs to show that she has policies and she'll have to defend herself against the claim that she's not just changed her policies in order to win elections, but that we really don't know what her policies would be after she is elected. Can anybody trust what she says now, given that she said one thing before, one thing now, and she's given no reasons for changing. She hasn't said, well, I've looked at the cost of energy, and I believe that fracking is important now or offshore drilling, things she's opposed in the past. For example, uh, uh, she should be asked, would you, uh, knowing what you know now, would you have approved the Keystone Pipeline? Uh, something very concrete. That brings us to the third point. I think that the moderators are under uh, the gun here. They have to uh, show that whatever their personal opinions are, they are unbiased as moderators. And they have to, which I think that the CNN uh, moderators did last time, they're all very much against Trump. They really don't like him, uh, but they were very good in terms of appearing uh, neutral in that broadcast. That was their job. Uh, I think the second thing that the moderators have to do is press for follow-up questions. I think the weakness of the Dana Bash interview uh, with Kamala Harris was that if you was the f absence of follow-up questions, if you ask only the initial questions, not to people like me who are not practiced politicians, but to a practiced politician, she's worked on her answer. She has a canned answer. You know this for, as a reporter. If you don't ask the next two or three questions, you don't get beyond the canned answer. And that's what we need to hear from Kamala Harris. And we need to hear it without a word salad. That's her big danger.